Hey guys, Tech Mentor here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect your AirTag if you're having issues connecting your AirTag to your phone or your Apple device. Now, there's multiple reasons why your AirTag might not be connecting if you're connecting it for the very first time or if you reset it or if you're looking to just reconnect it because it doesn't connect anymore. And we'll go through the basic and almost pretty much a comprehensive list of steps that you can take to resolve the problem with your AirTag not connecting. So let's dive right into it. The first thing first is if you're not seeing this message, when you have an AirTag near you that hasn't been set up, and it could be multiple reasons. First thing, you want to check the connectivity of your device, in our case, the iPhone here. First thing we do is go into settings here and then take a look at our Bluetooth. So Bluetooth, it's going to need to be on for your AirTag to discover your phone. So make sure you want to go ahead and toggle it off first and then toggle it back on. Again, this is a quick step to ensure that Bluetooth is working properly. Next thing you want to check is going to be your Wi-Fi connection. So make sure the Wi-Fi connection, you're connected to a Wi-Fi. Although if you don't have Wi-Fi, cellular data will work, but go ahead and just turn off Wi-Fi for a moment and then turn it back on and make sure it connects to Wi-Fi as well. Now, the next thing you want to do for connectivity is your cellular data. So in your cellular data, you want to simply make sure the cellular data is turned on here. Go ahead and turn it off. Again, turn it back on. Again, just refreshes the connectivity of your cellular device. And lastly, for connectivity-wise, you want to go ahead and check out your location services. So go into, again, we're in settings here, privacy, and this time we'll check location services. And location services, first thing, we'll make sure that it's turned on. So you want to go ahead and turn it off and then turn it back on. Again, refreshes the location services. Now, the next one you want to check out is Find My. Find My, again, you want to be utilizing this step where it says while using the app. So Find My used to be the Find My for your app or devices. So make sure that is turned on. And the other setting you want to turn on, it's going to be this setting here around precise uh, location here so that you can actually locate your air tag once connected again important to have that setting up so those are going to be all the connectivity things you want to make sure your phone is turned on now moving on to the next thing you want to check if you're still having issues connecting your air tag it's going to be your apple id so in order for air tags to work your apple id also has to have certain settings on and the first settings that you need to make sure your apple o iPhone has, it's going to be Find My. So in the setting for your iPhone, go to Find My again, and now make sure that Find My here, it's turned on as well. For some reason, if you have it turned off, you'll not be able to use your tag location. So make sure that Find My is turned on at, at the bare minimum. The next setting you want to check out is that you have two-factor on, which is also a requirement. So what is two-factor? It simply allows your phone, we'll show you in a second, you want to go in uh, to the first option here for your name, number, and email. You're going to click on that. So we're going to click on that. And then once you click on that, you'll be prompted to enter your password. So we're going to go ahead and enter our password here. So that's going to be your Apple ID password for that account that you're logged into. So right now we're just entering the password and if you already have two factor on, it's going to might want you to verify yourself with two factor on. And you'll see here, once you get into passwords and security, in the, the second option, you'll see here two-factor. So you want to make sure that two-factor is turned on. What two-factor is allows you to use a trusted device or phone number. So whenever you're signing in or using your account on another device, it will send a verification code to make sure that your phone or your the right person actually using your app ID. So that's going to be another requirement to have your two-factor on for your phone. So again, that's going to be under the setting of password and security. If you're an older version, you might see it on this as well. So make sure two-factor is on. 
the next thing you want to go ahead and uh, do is do a force restart of your iPhone here if it's not able to connect. So on iPhone 8 and above, so this is iPhone, uh, on an iPhone like a 12, 13, and even newer devices, the way to do it, it's going to be you're going to press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold this big side button on the right hand side and you'll see it so you slide to power off but don't touch that simply wait till the screen goes black now if you didn't uh, if you pressing that side button Siri comes up that means you didn't press the volume up and down quick enough so make sure you do that quick and then once the Apple logo shows up you'll let go so again volume up and then down really quick and then you're gonna hold the side button and not do anything until you see the screen go completely black and you see the Apple logo that is doing a force restart again it'll fix any minor or major software issues that you have and you can see now the air tag here is being able to get discovered connecting to our device here now let's say you're still having an issue and it's still not connecting what's the next thing you can do well the next thing you can do is manually add your air tag as well to your find my uh, account so to do that you're gonna want to open a find my you open a find my here it's gonna be something like this you want to go to items here and then go ahead add item so you want to click on add item and then you can do is add air tag click on add air tag and it will search for air tag as well as you can see it comes up like that as well so that's a manually way to add your air tag if that pop-up message isn't showing up so that's another thing you can do now let's say even then it's not working what can you do next the next thing to do is go ahead and update the software of your phone so the way the air tags are usually updated is based on the software that it connects to as well so air tag has a requirement to have ios 14.5 or later so make sure that your phone if you go into settings here go to general and then software update and here make sure you connect it to good Wi-Fi or cellular data and look for to see if there is an update available now if there's the update available it will show up here and you'll hear see here where it says download and install you'll click on that connect or to a power source you'll need at least 50 percent or or more or connect it to a power source for it to download and install the update while you do that update it will fix up any software related issue that could be preventing your AirTag from connecting uh, to your iPhone. So make sure your phone is up to date or your device if you have an iPod or iPad you're trying to connect your AirTag with as well. So that's going to be the next thing you want to do. Now the next thing we want to do if you're still having issues with it is going to be doing uh, actually a fact actually a reset of your phone so here this time we're going to go into settings again once you go to settings general and then we'll go down here on ios 15 you'll see this option for transfer or reset iphone on other previous version of ios you'll see just reset and then you'll have the option to do the reset as well so we're going to click on that and we're not going to be resetting the phone so you will not lose any data on the phone but the reset that we're going to be doing here it's going to be network reset setting the second option here now we're not going to reset all settings or any of the other ones and you definitely don't want to do this erase all content that will delete all of your data but the reset that we want to do is going to be reset network setting this will reset your Wi-Fi connections your any VPN settings so be careful we use this as a cautious as well to if you don't want to lose in your Wi-Fi say password and things like that you don't want to use that because you want you will have to reconnect to all of your Wi-Fi or VPN setting you have set up it's everything related to the network setting that will be a race none of your photo video apps or any information will be deleted it's going to be all information related to the network and that kind of helps sometimes if it's a connectivity issue with bluetooth wi-fi services as well so that's going to be the thing that you want to do and now moving on to all the troubleshooting steps with your phone now it's going to be troubleshooting the actual air tag itself because again the air tag itself is a hardware that needs to be take a look at so the important thing to check on your AirTag it's probably going to be related with the battery itself so to see or replace the battery might be the next thing to do sometimes the battery over time dies and you may need to replace it to replace the battery on the AirTag you're going to simply press and hold just like this how we have in our hand press down and then while you're pressing down rotate it counterclockwise and it will pop up the silver cap of it with the Apple logo and once you 
take that off you'll have access to the battery here again the battery if you're looking to replace it it's going to be cr2032 you can get it off amazon ebay or your local store as well these are pretty common battery for devices and to check if the battery is actually working is that if you pop up the lid and press down you should hear a noise that means the battery is good you don't need to replace it but again sometimes if the battery was dislocated or out of place this is a good way to check now the other thing you could do is reset your air tag as well by taking the battery out and putting it back in about four times and the fifth time is a reset so each time you take it out press down till you hear sound so you do that once again do it take it off do it twice third time take it off again fourth time and then last time you can just take it off one more time five times don't ask us why this works, but this is the way they're designed. And then lastly, you want to put the cover back on. So use your finger again, press again, line up those tabs that we saw. So the key here is to line up those tabs that you have. Make sure the plus sign is facing you and then press down. So you're going to locate and then press down and go clockwise. This time it'll rotate just a few degrees and it will sit nicely. And we have done battery replacement if you needed to or actual reset of uh, the air tag itself and then we're going to go over hop over to the phone again power it on and see if it connects and as you can see it's connecting again so those are going to be all the steps troubleshooting steps you can do to troubleshoot your air tag if it's not connecting and if you're still having issues it's not working the air tag might be defective and you may need to take it to the apple store and get it checked out so hopefully this video help you guys resolve your issue if your air tag isn't connecting and if so if any of these methods help leave a comment in the comment section or if you found another way to get your air tag to connect thanks for watching guys see you guys and next time